everyone, it's Miranda, and I am designing this month for the Crafter's Castle, and they are currently having a video hop on YouTube. So I designed this card for the video hop, and it's got the um, removable belly band on here. This is a gatefold card. Now, I don't have the inside of it filled out or anything. I just have the, um, the blank card made. But basically, um, this band, you just slide on the, the card, you know, to hold it closed. So I made all of this out of A and B Illustrations paper pack. And um, even the, like the panels I have here, these are from A and B uh, paper. And this also is from the A and B Illustrations paper as well. So it matches back really nicely. Uh, if you want to uh, find out more information as to how you can enter the giveaway that we're having to win some AMB illustration goodies, go ahead and check the description box below this video and I'll have all the description of everything you need to enter. And also, if you keep watching, I'll show you how I made this beautiful little card. So I hope you have a great day and just keep watching. So we'll begin with the A and B illustrations paper pack shown here, and I'm going to show you how I made the basic uh, card base, the gatefold, and I will also show you how I made the belly band that goes onto the card to help keep it closed. So I'm going to begin with my card base, and this is just a piece of white cardstock. I have it cut at eight and a half by five and a half, and I'm going to score it at two and one eighth inch in from both sides. So if you measure in two and one eighths inch and just place your ruler right there, you can just use the tip of your bone folder or a sharp pointed object of some type and go ahead and make a score line right there. I did want to show you if you don't have a scoreboard, you can do score lines with a ruler just like this. And then just place your ruler right on your score line and just fold that up and over. And that'll give you a really nice, tight, crisp crease. So I'm going to go ahead and take my bone folder and crease that down. And at this point, you can make any little minor adjustments you need to make to your fold if it might be just a tiny bit off or something like that. And you'll notice here I'm working on this um, gatefold card and I have a little piece of brown paper behind there. That's just kind of so you can see the card since I'm using a white card base. Um, now we're going to go ahead and work on this little belly band. The big image that you see there on front of the belly band, that's just the AMB Illustrations uh, image. I just fussy cut it out. And the belly band's going to be approximately 1 inch by 10 inches. Now this one I have, I'm showing here for example purposes, it's not measured properly. So don't go by this one. It's just, I'm just showing you how you fold it around basically. And you just want to glue that uh, to itself. So that way the card, you know, it's free from the card. You don't glue it to the card. You just glue it to itself. And you just go ahead and uh, fussy cut out that little image, and you can just glue that onto your belly band. And then for these little panels on the inside, all you have to do is just cut four of those panels, and I cut those at one and a half inches by five inches, and just glued those into place. And that way it left a little bit of a white border. Now I'm going to show you how to make the bow. I'm using a really bright pink piece of paper here just because I think it'll show up a little bit better um, for you to see. And I'm not really measuring anything here. I'm just cutting a little strip about this long and about this thick, right? So I'm just folding it in half. Um, you can just kind of eyeball this, just the size of bow you want. And then I'm folding it in half again. So again, just to recap, I folded it in half and then folded it in half once more. And that'll give me my creases that I need for the bow. And I'm going to take my scissors and just cut a little diagonal slant right at the front of that bow where it's folded there. And don't cut all the way through. You notice how I left a little bit there to keep it attached. When you open it, it looks kind of like a piece of wrapped candy to me. <laughs> so um, then on the very end, on the tails, I just cut a um, little V notch out of those at the same time to keep them exact and that gave me my little banner tails then fold it back in half and then go ahead and cut the diagonal slant on the front part of the bow also now after you do this you just want to take your bone folder and kind of curl the paper so it'll form into the shape of the bow 
and then you can go ahead and just fold back the little um, tail I guess of the bow and um, where it looks like a banner you just fold that back and glue it into place on the back side of the bow and really I can't take full credit for this this actually I saw May May do this on the May May Made It YouTube channel so be sure to check her out and um, I just but I just want to give her credit for that because she did come up with this called a cheater bow method and so then on the center I just cut a little tiny tiny strip and I'm just wrapping around the center of the bow that way it just kind of completes it and makes it look finished you can do this in an alternating color if you choose and you might notice here I used uh, silver and the way I got that shiny like that was I just took the paper and just coated it with a uh, Versamark and I just sprinkled like silver embossing powder on it and heat set that and it looked I thought really really pretty shiny like that so um, but that's optional so yeah I just added a few little pearls on the little flowers and I had a completed card this project was super fun to make and uh, if you do want to duplicate this I will have the AMB illustrations paper link below you can also win the AMB illustrations paper by entering the hop giveaway with the information below but you will also notice I'm offering another giveaway now this is a secret giveaway tucked into this video that I am personally giving away it's an umbrella crafts wafer thin metal die set with feathers and I think you could also probably use some of these as leaves and all you have to do to enter for the die set is to let me know in the comments below what is your favorite bird and if you let me know that little in the comment just that little secret then I will know that you want to enter for the die set and don't forget to also look at the hop instructions to enter for the AMB illustrations paper pack so in this video you have a chance to win two things I hope that made sense if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching